For those with a weakened immune system, this fear is nothing new. Since the beginning of the pandemic, the CDC has been warning that they are more likely to get severely sick from COVID. This case has skyrocketed. A lot of people in this community decided to stay home for this holiday. When I got that positive test result, it just was a gut punch. Tori Saylor first tested positive on December 15th, and immediately she started to worry. She has MS and says that her treatment weakens her immune system. I was scared. I was furious. I was. Um, and in that moment, you know, there was definitely an adrenaline rush. So she took to social media, expressing her fear and her anger, and it resonated. The post now has over 47,000 likes. I think it struck a nerve um, because... This is the story of so many people. People like her friend, Tori Cross. The last two years have been um, exceptionally difficult. Cross is also immunocompromised and has had some cold-like symptoms this week, although fortunately, she's still testing negative. To protect herself, though, she decided it was not a good idea to travel. Even though it's a decision that sucked, <laughs> like it's a decision that I wish we didn't have to make, um, it was still an easy decision to make. And the message from both of these immunocompromised neighbors of ours is not to get complacent, get boosted if you haven't, and continue to wear masks that limit the spread. Thinking that I should die because you have to start living your life at some point, I refuse to accept that. Every person in this country should have the right to being alive. <laughs> Meanwhile, a big concern for many immunocompromised people is access to hospital beds. So here's how we're doing right now, according to HHS. Nationwide, we're looking at 71.85% of inpatient beds that are full. Meanwhile, let's talk about locally. In D.C., that number is 65.07%. It's the lowest in the region. In Virginia, that number is 70.82%. And lastly, in Maryland, 83.13% of inpatient beds are in use. For WSA 9, I'm Evan Kozloff.